Hey, this is V, and you're listening to Bite Size Book Reviews. So today's book has kind of a long title. It's called The Utterly Uninteresting and Unadventurous Tales of Fred, the Vampire Accountant, by Drew Hayes. So like the title suggests, the main character is a vampire accountant, or an accountant who was basically recently turned into a vampire. So before he became a vampire, Fred was basically someone who lived a really quiet life, was slightly cowardly, and didn't really have much of like a social life or like people he spent time with or family. And someone who had a really hard time, I guess, fitting into society in general and kind of liked to keep himself apart. And after he became a vampire, he was still someone who had a hard time fitting in, lived a basically pretty quiet life, and had a difficult time <laughs> connecting with people. And I think that's actually what makes him a really interesting and kind of fun sort of character to have a vampire story about. So the entire story fo- uh, takes place in a version of America where um, what they call parahumans took part in like the American Revolution and everything. So basically, when America got started, um, parahumans were included as part of their constitution and the makeup of the government. I think the idea was that um, things like vampires and werewolves and mages and stuff wanted a country where uh, their rights were acknowledged instead of where they were treated like monsters. So you get exposed to a couple different types of magical creatures in this world as Fred like encounters them. So you've got zombies, necromancers, mages, uh, demons, werewolves, well, were creatures, I guess, like they have a lot more than just wolves. And it kind of talks a little bit about um, a lot of these different species, like the kind of roles they play in society right now and the different rules and policies and laws and stuff that govern their is- existence alongside um, non-undead Americans. <laughs> well, they're not all dead, but like, you get the idea. So I think what was kind of interesting, though, was that the focus of this story was really more on how parahumans are a lot like everybody else. Like Fred sort of makes the point that even though in a lot of popular culture stories and movies and stuff, for instance, turning to a vampire somehow is supposed to be like cool and amazing, like before and after he became a vampire, he's still essentially the same person. And a lot of other parahumans really have that same situation. Like you might have these different powers, different circumstances to the way you have to live, but for the most part, like a lot of their concerns, their problems, the things they care about are pretty much just like everybody else. So this story is uh, doesn't have like a big plot. It's really more just episodes from Fred's life. And if there is a focus to book one, I guess I'd probably say it's a little bit like the meeting the woman who becomes his girlfriend and throughout this process um, sort of getting acclimatized to being part of the parahuman world and getting to see just how similar to everyday people a lot of parahumans are. And you know this is done like I said through a couple different episodes we have these sort of mini stories that are happening in his life. So for instance there's uh, his first high school reunion as a vampire. There's mm, like this task he goes on with his girlfriend where they're participating in this kind of sounds like some type of like role play uh, game type thing and going to help his like a friend of his girlfriend's out of a really big gambling debt with these people who technically have dragon blood. So it has a lot of like it sort of mixes everyday issues, but in like the parahuman universe. So I think you can probably tell from everything I've said so far that I had a lot of fun with this series. Like it was definitely a pretty humorous kind of account. Like I think it had a kind of nice different spin on the parahuman world in general, like because of this emphasis on normality or maybe not normality because it's not like these things are normal, but like the way it's treated in the story it is basically just these people's everyday lives. And like through this process, Fred 
does actually find himself, you know, making friends and like meeting people and you know building the kind of life that you know like that he didn't have before he became a vampire and a lot of it does come about because he became a vampire but the things that are valuable like the relationships he builds and stuff is really just the kind of thing that you would want as any kind of like citizen so that was something I definitely really enjoyed I guess the one thing I would pick out if I had to choose a flaw would just be that I think I sometimes have a really low like what I call embarrassment tolerance level so there are some scenes where I might be tempted to like skip a paragraph or two because I uh, tend to feel like really intense vicarious embarrassment on the part of the characters in the situations that they face especially because Fred's sort of like you know this clumsy but well-meaning and like socially awkward person and that can create some pretty embarrassing situations. Overall though I'd had a lot of fun with this book and I'm definitely looking forward to reading the sequel.